Are you concerned about your privacy? Search engines such as Google create user profiles and manipulate your web experience based on what you search. While some of us choose to use privacy-focused search engines such as DuckDuckGo and StartPage, if we wish to have full control over our search experience, we can host our own search engine. We'll show you how to use SERCs and host your own meta search engine today on Cyber Weapons Lab. Cirques is an open source meta search engine. This means that for each search made, over 70 different search engines are queried for results. It can be hosted locally, hosted on a web server such as a VPS, or accessed through an existing live instance. Keep in mind that while these live instances are convenient, they cannot ensure that no login is taking place. The only way to do this is by hosting an instance of Cirques ourselves. While hosting our own Cirques instance, the IP address which is passed to other search engines is the same as our own outgoing IP. This can be obfuscated by using a VPN, proxy, or a service like Tor. However, if these outgoing IP addresses are blocked by any other search engines, the results will not be returned to our Cirques instance. We'll take a look at setting up our own Cirques instance on a Linux system. Let's get started. The first step to installing your own Cirques instance is to install all of the requirements. On a Debian-based Linux system, such as Ubuntu or Kali, a command such as the one shown on the screen will install all of the needed requirements. A copy of this command is available linked in the description. I've already installed all these requirements, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm going to move first into the user slash local directory using cd to change directory. I'll type cd space slash user slash local and press enter to move into this directory. In this directory, I'm going to make a copy of the Cirque source code. I'll copy the URL from the GitHub page, which is linked in the description of this video, and type git clone and paste that URL. And that source code will go ahead and make a copy of itself in the Cirque's directory, which has just been created. After this is done downloading, we're going to create a Cirque's user account. This user account will be used to manage the Cirque service and complete the installation of the software itself. First, we'll use the user add command to create a new user called Cirques. sudo user add Cirques, and we'll specify the directory with dash d slash user slash local slash Cirques. Next, we'll change the ownership of this directory by typing sudo chown Cirques colon Cirques dash r capital R for recursion slash user, slash local, slash Cirques. Once this is done, we can log in as the Cirques user by typing sudo dash u Cirques dash i. Once this is done, we will log in as the Cirques user and be able to administer the actual Cirques service and complete the installation. The first step as the Cirques user is to activate the virtual environment. This makes sure that all of the different Python requirements are maintained within an isolated environment and all of them will be installed and maintained to the correct versions. We can type virtual env cirques ve to activate this virtual environment and it will go ahead and install some of the Python requirements using pip. Once this is done, we'll use a script included with Cirques in order to finish installing the rest of the requirements. We'll type dot slash manage dot sh and then use the update underscore packages argument in order to make sure that this script installs and updates all the packages needed to use Cirques. If any requirements are already met, it will alert you, otherwise it will go ahead and install them automatically. Once those requirements are also completed, we can go ahead and run the Python web app service. We can type python cirques slash webapp.py to run the Python script which launches cirques. Once it's running, there won't be any text return on this command line. However, we will be able to access cirques at 127.0.0.1 colon 8888. This specifies that Cirx is running on your local device, 127.0.0.1, on the port 8888. 
We can go to that just like any other URL, and we can use SERPs just like any other search engine. Unlike other search engines, SERPs will parse multiple search engines automatically as well as return where those results were found. The first result, for example, shows both Google and Wikipedia as returning this result, followed by a result that was found on Bing, and so on. All these results will actually list which search engine they were retrieved from. Unlike other search engines, search can also be used to search for files, images, music, or other file types that can be parsed through a variety of different search engines. In general, it will be used very similar to any other search engine, especially since any search made through SERCs is passed to those same search engines. It allows us to have greater privacy since we're hosting our own service. It allows us to have much more control as we're hosting this and can change any of the code since it's open source. And overall, it provides a very full featured alternative to traditional search engines. Installing a local SERC instance can create a great alternative to traditional search engines. It allows for additional privacy, greater control over content, as well as a more diverse array of search results. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.